found that um, the election in my state and Ambrose has come and gone. There are some there are some questions I have to ask. There are some oh oh oh, oh, oh for that job in and and I don't want I wouldn't want us to forget too easily what happened leading up leading up to the election. I wouldn't want us to forget too easily all the insecurities that happened, all the killings, all the kidnappings, all the all the you know limits. You know I wouldn't want us to forget too easily what happened. And some questions that I have is this, right? When things happen, things don't, things don't, things don't just happen out of oblivion. You know, things, people don't just kill people based because oh, they just want to kill people. It doesn't happen like that in a civilized society. Someone must have given the order and said, go kill this person, go kill this person. And the question I have is this, as a concern and brother, and I think you have the same question as well like I do, is who, who, who gave these orders? As the way Nigeria is now, we, we may never find out who gave the order. But my question is this, right? And I honestly, I'm asking you, I've been thinking about this for a long time now. Who, who told these people to go kill Dr. Akuyale? Who told these people to go kill um, the House of Rep member? He, they were supposed to kill him, but it wasn't the convoy and they ended up killing his driver. Who told them? Who gave the order for to go and do these things? Who, who was who was behind these attacks? Like I said, we may never know, but I think it's the question that we should ask and keep asking. When Sunodo gets into power, when he gets inaugurated next year, we have to keep asking him, what is happening to the investigation? What is what is going on? We cannot just let this things slide. Like, we can't just we can't just let this book go scot free. These things did not happen, like I said. As of people did not just get guns and say let's go just let's let's go and start shooting it doesn't it doesn't work that way you know someone must have told these guys we're gonna track these people we're gonna have a plan b in place in case in case plan a does not work there has to be a plan b who who told them their their their, their roots like their who who gave who was who was monitoring these things who was who was who was in charge of this who was you know who was who was sponsoring them who was giving them money who was buying these guns for them it has to be someone, of course. I don't know who that person is, but it's a question we have to keep asking our asking for our leaders. We cannot just let the deaths of the support be in vain. The deaths of the cover of the of the of the driver of the as Azobok is his name. The deaths of the security people that were, that were attached to Sudo when he was still running. The police officer that were attached to him when he was attacked in during 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 during, 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 during a campaign. We have to ask of these guys, you know. I mean, this we can't just let this thing slide. It's, it's, it's uncalled for. As a civilized society, it's a question that we have. And maybe you don't agree with me, maybe you disagree. But like I said, you know, I, it, it's, um, when, I, when, I, when I remember that video of, um, of Dr. Apriele, you know, it, um, it broke my heart, you know, it made me it made me like I don't I, I got it really demoralized me like when I saw someone that's given Nigeria so much dying like that you know it's anyone that anyone that saw it you were repelled by that you know you were you, were, you ask you ask yourself questions about your country that day and we have to not forget that these people they need to be remembered you know we have to as a country as a state keep asking these questions and keep asking of the governments that we need to know who these people are, who, what are their names, who are they, was this an outside force, was this one from the states, we need to know, you know, so I just, I just wanted to say this against off my chest, like I've been, I've been pondering about it for a long time now and I felt like, you know, let me just get it out there and maybe, who knows, it starts off something that people begin to call for this investigation and start calling for you know the names of these people that, that did these things to our state to people like to people that these guys they have family they have friends they have parents they have kids you know for them to go like that you know is is not worth it so once again please let me know what you think subscribe to my channel to our channel um like the video share the video with your friends and thank you for watching and god bless thank you